Roy, R-O-Y, Kronk, K-R-O-N-K. Uh, I was a meter reader for Orange County. The date right now is January 6, 2009. The time right now is 1530 hours. I'm Detective Mellish with the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Reference Orange County case number 08-74777. Uh, we're at the Orange County Central Operations Building, uh, one of the interview rooms. Also present is Corporal Eric Edwards, Orange County. Also present is Attorney David Evans. Uh, and Mr. Evans, your office is uh, two landmark centers, Suite 600 or 225 East Robinson Street, Orlando, Florida, is that correct? That's correct. Okay. And also present is uh, Roy Cronk. Roy, would you state your name and birthday for the record? Uh, Roy Cronk, January 22nd, 1962. And uh, Roy, David, you aware this is being recorded? Yes, we are. Any objection by either one? No. No. Okay. Roy, let Did me I... take some pressure off you. No, I'm fine, I'm fine. The, the recorded, or the, and the crime line tip, yeah. you described that bang. Oh, okay. So there's, yeah. don't kill yourself for me. Well, no, I so, just... If the, the simplicity of it's right there. Okay, yeah, that's what I saw. Man. Just, yeah. so, just so there's no question on what picture I'm showing you since this is only audio, mm -hmm. if, you, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and sign your name on the bottom and put today's date. I'll sign mine on the bottom as well. So that way if I have to show what I showed you during this conversation, I can present this picture. What is today's date? Sixth. I don't even, oh, know. I don't even know what year it is. The purpose of didn't enter on the 11th. On the 11th. August 11th, December 11th. November 11th. That's the second time around. Um, That's right. Is there anything I miss, Eric? Um, we uh, we're dumping your phone so we can get the picture of this name. That's conceptual, right? That's good. Uh, can you think of anything else? I was going to make a joke, but I'm not going to. You're just trying to get me to laugh. Yeah. I know he asked this before, and I don't know if it was on tape or not, and I apologize. That's okay. From the time you talked to the deputy on August 13th to the time you called us on December 11th, did you talk to anyone else or tell anyone else to go there, direct them no, to go there? not at all. Meet no. with any search teams, any other people, or no. call, like, uh, what do you mention, kid finders, call I mean, any you organization. Know what? If you want to hear the greedy materialistic pick side of me, at that time there was a $235,000 reward. If I thought, you know, like I said, I thought it was a skull, I knew it was a skull, why the hell would I call anybody and tell them, oh, you want $235,000, go over there and pick it up? You know? So, but the same could be asked there is like, well, if you knew that money was available, why wouldn't you go back there and persist? Why because the cop your... pissed me off. Great answer. Okay. That, that se I mean, that, that seems, seems like, you know? That seems like... Uh, Anything else, sir? Yep. Um, the window that you talked about, uh, talking to your wife, or you, I'm sorry, your roommate. roommate uh, uh, I can't help but notice that there's that you might make those phone calls after nine o'clock at night. Yeah, hey, because it's after Nancy. Beat me to my punchline. Yeah, it's after Nancy. So basically, <laughs> after watching all that, it kind of stimulated. And her, yeah, because she, you know, she. I don't watch that crap, man. Yeah. Yeah, I do now because I'm on it every 20 minutes. But oh, Jesus Christ! But yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I cared about the fact that the child was missing, and I, you know, I hoped that it she would wind up okay. But you know, I know, Mr. Dean, one thing I picked up on, one thing that you had said before, you thought maybe there was some tension there. One thing I did pick up on today was maybe he was a little exasperated that if you felt that 100 percent on that day when they were all standing there, why not make that call then? But if your feeling was they were picking on you and, yeah. and maybe chastising you a little bit for you know thinking that you saw something that wasn't there. I work with 19 people, two of which are women, and if it had turned out to have been something else other than it was, do you know how much shit I would have had to take for that? Right. Okay, so, you know, sometimes it's better just to smile and nod and walk away. So. But did you call anybody else that you can think of that we don't want to be blindsided with and discuss this with during any of this time frame? I discussed my theory with my friends. That's why they all called. And I told you all this before. That's why they all called me that day and went, no, you were right. Because I had my little idiot theory. My little idiot theory proved to be true. That's just all there is. But nobody else in the limelight right now. Nobody in no, the public eye. I didn't even call my brother-in-law and tell him about it. You know, My brother-in-law is a bounty hunter right now. I told him my theory, but I didn't tell him anything else. You know, I mean, as you can tell... So the Brotherhood of Bounty Hunters, you didn't call them? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you really listen to my tape, you can hear the exasperation in my voice when I'm just trying. I started out trying to do the right thing, okay? I, I figured if this is what it was, I was trying to be anonymous about this because hopefully they would find her. 
it would bring an end to this and all that, and then one day it turned into two days, and then two days turned into three days, and then the officer shows up, makes me feel like a jackass, and I'm like, you know, screw this shit, I'm done. You know, I tried to do the right thing, and I guess kept getting it thrown back in my face, and it's enough. And then that, that's, that's an honest explanation. You know, so. We'll give it that. Anything else? No, nope, it's going to be a little while on the phone probably, but I'll go check on that. Uh, oh, we had all work to go talk to anyways. Uh, David, anything you wanted to, to add or? No, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Well, we just continue to make that request now, though, that we try to stay out of the media the best we can. You, you've you've done a good job so far, and I appreciate it. Nate, I, I listened to your mm -hmm. your statement and listened well, to yours. Well, you know, I do think that that at some point that that you'll feel compelled to to make a statement. So. We would ask that, uh, being that Linda and Jeff are the prosecutors on there, mm -hmm. that maybe, maybe just maybe we can hook you and that party up, and you mm -hmm. guys can work about that. Probably the most we professional don't. way to go about this one. Yeah, I mean, you know, if, if uh, maybe I'll call Bill Bowes or something like that. That's fine. Well, let me tell them. But, but uh, you know, well, you can turn that. Okay, you if you feel if you want that part of the record, finish your whatever. Well, well, I just, I, you know, I, I, I just wanted to. You know, I don't want, want you guys to be blindsided. Right now, we're, we're, yeah, we're not at a point it. where he, he goes forward because, you know, obviously. What you did before was good. You, you, you told me about it. He gave me your number. Actually, you called, and I apologize. I didn't okay. get back to, to Roy right. on it, and it was a very busy day. I'm sure you well, I, I know. I, mean, I don't care. For, I know how important this is, and I'm not going to do anything stupid. Obviously, if I was out after the money out of any of this bullshit, I would have been out a lot sooner. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if you notice, I'm still keeping as low profile as humanly possible. Yeah, but, you know, Roy, appreciate that. Roy has to eat, too. So. All right. I understand. Okay. Uh, raise your right hand for me. Do you swear and affirm everything you told us is the truth? Yes.